One, go! And here we are in our next qualification match, number 18. Two blue robots off the half during the sandstorm. It's a blinding sandstorm, can't see a thing. Three red robots off of the half. The sandstorm is now over. As they grab hatch panels and cargo to start filling their cargo ship and their rockets. 64-45, SeaTech grabbing another piece of cargo and placing it, trying to place it in the cargo ship on the far side, and it, it goes right in, no problem. The Freedom Gliders grab some more, trying to grab another piece of hatch panel to place on either the cargo ship or the rocket. Fifteen seventy one calibrate. They've got some cargo as they head to their cargo ship to place it in there, and in it goes. Rebel Alliance has their cargo as well. Fifteen seventy one makes that look so simple. Just get it from the side and put it in the cargo ship. Unfortunately. It went into the center section where a piece of cargo already existed. It will not count, but we'll come back and get another one. Shockwave is working on the rocket on the far side, the blue rocket, grabbing cargo, using that turret to spin around and be able to place it right in where they want, just like that, nicely done. 30 seconds left in the match. 30 seconds left. Time, time for some more pieces and then they'll be heading towards the HAB to get those points at the end of the game. Shockwave up to the top, no problem at all. The other two robots on the, on the first level. While Rebel Alliance works its way up to the second level with two seconds left, is it gonna make it? Doesn't look like it. But we'll let the refs hash that out. We'll get your final score in just a minute. And we have our final scores for that match. Watch the little rockets take off. It'll tell you who wins. That would be the Blue Alliance with a score of 69 and the win and three ranking points as we move on to qualification number 19.